How you doing guys? This is your brother in Christ, Juan Adria, and I'm super excited for what the Lord is going to do in this channel. You know, it's been a long time since I have this idea to make something, something that the Lord was telling me to do, right? And, and, and you know, since I've been, I've been just doing God's will in my life, and there was still this thing that I, that I was kind of like concerned about, right? Like, kind of like, oh, I need to do something like in social media. I need to do something like you know, just to, to spread the gospel, to to share the good news to everyone, because as you guys know, we, we're in the last days. So we really need to be prepared for what's coming. And what a better way, right, than share the gospel, share the good news, teach the word, uh, uh, share a message, you know, whatever the Holy Spirit needs to do through uh, social media, you know. And uh, and I'm, I'm just excited, you know, for what the Holy Spirit is going to do, for what God is going to do. And so the purpose of this channel basically is, is, is going to be like to, you know, for me, it's it really fills my heart when 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 I can share the gospel, when I can share the good news with someone, I, when I can pray with someone, you know, uh, for someone, you know, and I've been I've been, you know, studying the word. I've been getting into the word and, and you know, the Lord is just pouring out his spirit, you know, and. and given revelation after revelation and and he one of the things he's, he's been telling me is like freely you have received one freely you have received the knowledge freely you have received the, the understanding uh, uh the revelation uh, uh you know the love and the peace and, and mercy and grace you name it right freely you have received so freely you have to give so that's why i'm here guys um uh, and whatever the holy spirit needs to needs to do uh, in, in this channel, you know, we're just gonna let the Holy Spirit move, you know, that's how it's supposed to be, and yeah, it's, it's just a spirit-filled uh, a content when, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna be speaking, we're gonna be reading the Bible, we're gonna have a devotion time, we're gonna have a great time, you know, uh, spending with the Lord, so yeah, guys, that's basically, you know, an idea, an introduction uh, about, about the things that are gonna happen here in this channel and, and you know i know that uh it's not about the person you know it's not about me it's all about him you know it's, it's just to glorify him uh, uh through the word you know through the true through the true living word and that's that's the main idea you know to glorify the king of kings and lord of lords uh jesus christ and for people to know him uh in a deeper way you know not just the surface but let's go deep let's go deep into his word and let's go deep into into everything that he that he has to offer you know he, he he's perfection so let's get into it into perfection let's get into love let's get into into the peace of god and before that before uh i post more videos i'm i was thinking uh to share my testimony because it's really important you know to share your testimony it's your testimony no one can take it away from you and it's powerful. There's something about our testimony that the enemy gets so mad when we share our testimony, you know, because we're we're uh, basically putting that seed inside of a of a person, you know, when we share our testimony, and, and and by putting the seed inside of them, you know, God take care of that seed and make it grow. So also, you know, the testimony is really important because really it really touched the heart of those. Who, who who hear your testimony and it's always fascinating you know when i hear a testimony of a friend of mine you know or you know whatever testimony i hear i, I just feel my heart you know and just i'm just i'm just happy you know for for the person and and it's really uh the testimony is really like a god showing you know, you know god showing his love and his mercy and his peace and his grace at that moment you know at that moment where we where we used to be uh, uh, in darkness, he brought us, you know, f uh, uh, from the darkness into the light. So it's really, really fascinating, you know, uh, speaking about that. And so, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to be sharing my testimony. Uh, forgive me, guys, if I don't remember everything that's it's, uh, pretty long, but I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, sharing my testimony kind of like like short, you know, and but yeah, so basically my testimony is I grew up in a really good family, you know. I grew up in a really good family. I had everything when I was a kid, you know. I, I got a really good childhood, you know. 
And I was born actually in the U.S. in Silmar, California. But then my parents decided to move back to Mexico where we basically, we, we grew up over there. You know, we, we spent most of our lives over there, you know, and we had a really good childhood, you know. We used to live in like a, in a little town, you know. It was, it's, it's still a little town, you know, where there's a, a lot of farm, you know, a lot of agriculture, you know. And so we, we grew up with, you know, in the ranch and with cows and all that. And growing up, you know, I remember they always, always, it came into my mind. I believe that God, it was, he was already working, right? It was, you know, these questions in my mind, you know, like, oh God, this, this should be more, more about life. This is just more about life in a way that uh, we, we, we should have like a more, uh, I was just, I, I believe looking looking and searching for for the peace and the love still you know because i remember being uh, anxious when i was a kid i was i was just depressed for no reason you know and now i know why you know all those uh spirits evil spirits going after me but yeah i was asking myself like there should be more than just uh you know get married uh having a job having a career making money and having kids and you know all those things since i was a uh, six seven eight years old i was asking myself those things you know it should be more there should be more uh but in a way i was looking for peace i was looking for love i was like i was looking for all those things you know and but growing up i i remember you know i grew up uh believing in god uh you know we 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 uh we used to go to church over there in Mexico, you know, but it was more kind of like a religious, you know, religion, you know, way of, of seeing things because I I heard about God. I knew who, who God uh, uh, was, you know, yeah, I, and, and it was like, a, oh, there's there's someone uh, in heaven. There's someone in the sky, you know, who's taking care of us and all that. But I didn't have the relationship with him, you know, I didn't have a lot that deep relationship with it with with our father with a heavenly father you know and i didn't know anything about jesus i didn't know the the, the real meaning behind you know the the gospel you know basically so i grew up believing in god but i didn't have that relationship you know i was i was more like a, oh you know what i can i can sin from monday to saturday and then confess my sins on a sunday and you know anyways you know because I was I was thinking like that. I was like, okay, I, I should be fine, you know. If I confess my sin on Sunday and then go back to sin again on Monday and and Saturday, you know. So that's that. Uh, moving forward, I moved to the U.S. and I was with the same idea, you know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna make money, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna buy a house and and everything is gonna be all right you know so i i came with the same mentality uh i got a job here in the u.s and then you know at the time i i was i was uh with this with this girl you know and everything in my mind everything was going good you know everything was going perfect i was i was just making money uh and then all of a sudden like i started feeling like uh really sick i started feeling like really sick of my stomach i started you know with the stomach ache and just here and there you know and there was there was a point where i was so sick i was so sick that i i wasn't able to eat i wasn't able to eat i wasn't able to uh to eat like a like a normal person you know i was eating a little bit and i was just not 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 feeling well not, like a, it was something wrong in my digestive system so eventually uh i broke up with my with my girlfriend at the time i broke up i broke up with her and things started getting worse after that and i remember my 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 family was attacked too by the enemy you know my family was attacked and 
I started getting worse, you know, my this the the, the stomach ache, whatever it was. I start I start feeling really bad, really bad, and I start I start throwing up. I start I start vomiting. I start throwing up like, you know. For no reason, for no reason, I, and I start like with pain, you know, with pain and 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 all these things, all these symptoms. But I was just taking like a pill. I was taking like a pill or something, you know, used to used to feel no pain, you know, at the moment. So I didn't go to the doctor. I didn't I didn't do anything. I didn't want my family to worry, you know. And what happened? It was that uh, the symptoms got you know the symptoms got worse. Everything got worse, and I remember one day I was feeling so sick, and I woke up in the in the morning. Right, I woke up in the morning seeing like there was there was blood, there was blood on the pillow. Uh, you know, there was blood in my pillow. You know, when I wake up in the morning, there was blood in the pillow, and and I and that that was the point that that shocked me really, because I wasn't able to eat. I was with so much pain. I was bleeding out of my mouth, you know, and now I started to get like worried. Now I, I knew that there was something about, you know, something about in the inside of me, and I knew that I was dying for some reason. You know, I was like not putting attention. It was like, like I, you know, like believing that everything was gonna be alright. So my family, uh, they didn't know about this. You know, I, I didn't tell anything about it, about the problem. And I continued just working. I continued living my life. I was continuing, you know, uh, living in sin. I was just partying. And I was just uh, uh, going to parties and drinking. And, and, you know, I was just so much, uh, so much stress and weight on my shoulders, you know. And, and uh, at that time, I, my, my family got, a, you know, they got attacked. My mom got a spiritual attack. You know, the enemy was trying to get the whole family in a way, you know. And that, I remember one day after that, I remember one day in a specific when, when I when I first ex- experienced the Holy Spirit, the, like the, the love and the power of the Holy Spirit. Because that night, I, rem- I I went to the... I went to the restroom and I, and I and I could see myself like like skinny and I knew something was going something was going on with my, inside my body and my family members they were saying like you're not eating you're not uh like you used to eat and you're not uh you're skinny you you look you look uh bad you know and I was like no everything is okay don't worry you know it's just it's just a stomach ache just uh you know nothing nothing to be worried about but on the inside of me, I was I was worried. I was I was with so much fear, you know. Because I was seeing the symptoms. I I, I saw the blood in my pillow. I saw that I was so skinny. And I, uh, it was like to the point that I was, I lost like a uh, fifteen fifteen pounds in a period of uh, I would say two weeks. I was I was skinny. If I'm skinny right now, man, that time I was, I was just just the bones, you know. So there was one night when when everything changed, because I was I was sick, I was lost, I was committing sin, I was lost. Even though everyone was saying that oh he's good, you know he's 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 he got a job, you know he's he's making money. Uh, he got everything together, you know, but on the inside, I was just dying. I was just hopeless. I was, I was depressed. I was with, with anxiety and I was with so much stress. I was just, uh, dying, you know, and that night, that night was, it was like a midnight and I feel like a presence. I feel like a presence in my room so strong it was like a demonic presence i could see like a literally like a shadow like a shadow of darkness inside the room and then for the first time i i heard the holy spirit like like saying because i was i was with so much fear because i was dying i didn't know what to do i didn't want to go to the doctor because i didn't want my family to to know about the situation so 
the Holy Spirit speak to me for the first time. And the Holy Spirit say, if you would have died today, Juan, do you think you would go to heaven or hell? Because I was so afraid. I, I can even describe the fear that I felt in that moment when, when the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Juan, if you would have died today, do you think you would go to heaven or hell? And right away, right away, I knew that I was going to go to hell. You know, if I if I uh, if I didn't repent. And I started crying, you know, I started crying. I, I still remember I started crying. I started crying, 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 crying and asking God uh, for forgiveness, asking God uh, for mercy. I went to the I went to the bed you know like with so much fear and and feeling feeling the presence of, of the enemy and in, in, in the room like the darkness I went into the bed and then I got on my knees I wa I got on my knees and I started crying I started crying like you know like a baby for like a five minutes just just asking God for forgiveness God please forgive me God please forgive me forgive me for all my sins and the holy spirit told me like you need to confess your sins you need to repent of all your sins from the past you need to forgive the people that hurt you and i started doing that you know i started i started forgiving people that hurt me from the past i started forgiving you know all those persons you know that hurt me and i start to i start confessing my sins i start repenting of all my sins of every sin that I remember and I repent of my sins I confess and then all of a sudden I start feeling this peace this peace uh, inside of me it, it was like a I can describe it like the father was pouring out his spirit pouring out his faith and his love and his compassion and his mercy you know and it, it was just so beautiful because I went, I went from darkness into light, in in a matter of seconds, you know. I was feeling so depressed, so with so much anxiety and and lost, hopeless, with no hope at all, no hope. I thought I was gonna just die, and I was feeling so, so depressed. And when the Holy Spirit told me, like, you need to repent and confess your sins. I started confessing my sins, I started repenting, and everything changed. Everything changed. In a matter of seconds, everything changed. And now I was feeling I was feeling with so much peace, with so much love from the Father. I was feeling with so much joy in my heart that I knew everything was gonna be alright. I knew everything was gonna be alright. Since the moment I started repenting, since the moment I started confessing my sins. And sometimes I get emotional, you know, thinking about this because the place where God took me to the place where I'm at right now, it's just it's just a miracle, you know, it's just a miracle. So that happened that night. My my, my life changed com completely. And also, when I was in the room, you know, the Lord gave me the word, do you believe, Juan, do you believe I can heal you? Do you really believe I can heal you? Just just like Jesus uh, told, I believe, the blind man on the road, right? Do you believe I can heal you? And that same word, I, I put that word, I grabbed that word and I put it in my in my heart and in my in my mind. And then I say, Yes, Lord, I believe you can heal me. And the Lord say, Okay, don't go to the doctor. I will heal you. Those those were the words. Don't go to the doctor. I will heal you. And I just trust. I just, I just trust those words. I just trust the Lord with all my heart. And the next day, I wake up in the morning with so much joy. And the Lord started telling me, "You need to get rid of Netflix. You need to get rid of the TV. You need to get rid of, uh, you know, video games. You need to get rid of uh, uh witchcraft. Whatever movies you have uh, from witchcraft." you know just throw them away you know you need to delete your contacts of your friends you know act you know 
past relationships, just delete the contacts, delete the number that I'm gonna be working in you, that you're gonna be you're gonna be set apart from this world. I didn't know at the time, you know, what was being uh, set apart from this world, but he he told me to do those things, bro. So I did those things. Uh, you know, even where I where I used to work, they were like, like Juan, what's going on? You you look different. You act different. You don't gossip anymore. Uh, uh, you don't joke around anymore. You know, and, and all those things. Everything changed in my life. And I start preaching the gospel. I start preaching the gospel to my family. You know, telling them you know about about the Lord Jesus Christ. That he he he's coming and he's coming soon. And they were they were uh, they needed to repent of their sins. Or if not, they would go to hell. You know, I was just, it was just like radical, like radical, right? Because the Lord got me to read the Bible and and get rid of all, all the distractions. So I started reading the Bible from Genesis all the way until, until Revelation, you know, all the way. And uh, just reading the Bible every single day, every single day, reading the Bible and preaching to my family and, and, and you know, preaching the, uh, on, the, on the living room and start like, a, a, like teaching them the word, you know, and hey, this is this is just the Lord because I, I didn't know anything about the word. I didn't know anything about praying and fasting. And then the Lord started telling me to to pray and fast, to pray and fast, to pray and fast. So uh, I started fasting. I started praying, and the Lord after that, he 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 told me you need to you need to start uh, praying for people in the streets. You know. And I was so nervous because I didn't know how to pray for people in the streets. I didn't know, I didn't even know how to pray, you know. So I was, I was just like listening to the Holy Spirit, and just being obedient, you know, being obedient, because that's the thing. Obedience is better than sacrifice, right? So after praying for people in the streets, I started seeing miracles. I started uh, seeing the Holy Spirit moving. And I didn't know that much about the Holy Spirit, you know. I, I, I was just looking videos on YouTube about people praying, you know, and people's, I mean, praying for people and believing, right? And believing, that's that's what it takes, you know, believe. Believe and, and everything you that you ask, you know, it will be given to you. So I started praying for people. I started seeing miracles. I started seeing all those things. I started seeing, like, people getting delivered, uh, people getting healed, mm. And I st and after that I started I started you know getting more into the word I start uh, hearing about speaking tongues, uh, you know getting filled with the Holy Spirit. So of course I want I wanted those things you know. So I started searching, and then I received that I received tongues. I started speaking in tongues, uh, and then I, I I hear about the Holy Spirit you know be baptized in the Holy Spirit. So I started begging God. I started, you know, asking the Lord Jesus Christ for, for, uh, for Him to baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Then He baptized me in the Holy Spirit. I started traveling. You know, I went. I went to Texas, uh, to meet with some uh, friends over there. We start. We start um, going to the streets and praying for people. I met. I met so many people. So I met. I made so many connections, that. Uh, that I, I start I start mm, going after uh, God's car, you know, going after God's car. Because He saved my life, and He, He really, He literally changed everything in 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 my life. You know, He saved my life. He changed me. He made me clean, and uh, He forgave my sins. So at that point, I was just like so amazing, cause. The actual book that I was reading, I, 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 I knew that the book was alive. When I started seeing those things, me praying for people and all the pre, all the people, you know, praying and, and seeing deliverance, seeing the, the realm of the spirit. I start, I start having dreams, uh, of me praying for people in the spirit. I start having revelation. I start having vision. You know, all those things. I knew that the book was alive. Because the every, everything that the book was talking about, everything was was happening in the real life, in this life. That's why that's why we are we are uh, disciples of Jesus Christ. We are all here to make the difference. We are all here to bring the light. And if we are 
followers of Christ, those signs uh, are going to follow us. Those signs are going to follow us. They are because it is it, it is the word. It is the true. So that's that's kind of like uh, my testimony right there. You know, I, I pr I'm pretty sure that I missed some things, but that's, you know, like that's it going, you know, to the point, you know, that's that's the main the main idea, you know. Uh, to the sickness, God taught me a lot after because that was in 2019, 2019. That's when uh, when I when I met the Lord, when I was born again, I gave my life to Christ and I started having a relationship with him. You know, I started having that relationship with him. So he changed me and then he healed me, you know, from 2019 until 2022 that I was I was completely healed because I before I couldn't eat uh, I was eating a little bit and then I was feeling bad I was not able to eat a lot of foods uh, until until now didn't you know the 2022 start is, is the day, the year when I start eating everything and everything was good now in my stomach you know so yeah guys that's that's pretty much my testimony and I hope you guys like the video I hope you guys subscribe. Just give it a thumbs up. If you, if you guys think that this video is gonna is gonna help a, a family member, a, a friend uh, uh, that might need to hear this word, please share it. And I hope you guys uh, support the channel. We're gonna be here, like I said, uh, to read the word, to to get in, to get deep into the word of God, and, and just to just to let the Holy Spirit move like freely. We have to we just have to let the Holy Spirit period move freely you know guys and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be sharing more about my life and the and the and the and the in the next videos but i hope you guys like the uh the video and i'll see you guys until the next one